Okay boys, part two of the uh, brute force uh, winch doesn't work uh, saga. Um, it was the relay. I'll show you here. I put a new relay on it. Winch is working fine right now. This relay right here was the culprit. And how I found the problem was I took this little jumper wire that I just made up out of some crappy wire I had laying around. And I went between, show you here, the red wire is power, so I went between the red wire right there and then jumpered it over to the white wire which is from the winch uh, controller from the switch and it worked. So I knew that that was the, the deal with the relay. Um, I don't really love the way that's wired. I may ask him to if I can rewire it to a better method. Because you're overloading these little Bosch um, relays. Anyway, there's the relay. Uh, part number in case anyone was interested is uh, 0372502525D and it's a uh, 25 30 amp relay it's like a horn relay it's nothing extra special other than that so we got the winch working so now we're gonna see part of the problem with this heated hand grips not working is we'll look at them they look like they've been rode hard and put away wet this one's no better over here and these things here, these things are famous for, for shorting out and everything else. So it's probably going to end up being a replacement. I can get them a set of heat demons, which is what most guys run on 7 8 bars for a fairly uh, reasonable price. So we're likely going to end up going that route. But I'll dig into the wiring a little bit and just test some power and some ground. And that's how you find electrical problems, boys. you got to get real comfortable using a multimeter and using a test light like I showed you. That's the method you got to do. You get real comfortable using them and you'll find a lot of problems in, in the wiring. And I think I mentioned this to you fellows before but 90%, at least 90% of uh, troubles with motorcycles and ATVs and even automobiles um, is wiring related, electrical related. So, in any case, um, yeah, so there's the winch fixed. And we'll move on to the heated hand grips and see if I can figure something else out with that and what's going on. But I think I'm going to recommend that he replaces it even if I do find the problem. It's just that, I mean, they're, these, they're done, right? They're done. I mean, they've served, their, they've served their purpose, but, you know, they're done. They need new ones. Anyway, this is the machine I did put the fuel pump in. And uh, it does run awesome. It runs really really well and it's going on four months now I think it is since this pump's been put in here and that $40 1991 Jeep Wrangler uh, fuel pump's been doing the business boys there's no need to pay 850 bucks for a pump when you can just modify it I have, I have videos on my channel to show you how if you need to know how so anyway thumbs up for war amps stay classy